A wonderful person, this is Anton, and today we're going to discuss a mystery from the depths of our own galaxy. And a mystery that left a lot of astronomers scratching their heads. Because in early 2026, a team of scientists using some of the most powerful telescopes on the planet announced a discovery of something that according to our current laws of physics probably should not exist. Or basically, in this case, what you're seeing in this beautiful image should not be really possible. And so here they discovered a spectacular glowing shockwave surrounding a star you see in the middle. And in this case, this is a white dwarf system. Here the star is known as RxJ0528 plus 2838. And well, on the surface, seeing such a shockwave is not unusual. Researchers have seen a lot of different shockwaves around the Milky Way galaxy, and even our own Sun seems to form some kind of a shockwave, although in this case not as easily visible. But many active stars, especially the ones surrounded by some kind of a cloud, produce a lot of beautiful shockwaves as they travel across space. For example, here is a really beautiful shockwave imaged by the Hubble telescope in the Orion Nebula. And actually quite a few of them exist in this nebula, with many of them producing very beautiful formations. But in all of these other examples, we usually have enough evidence and of course enough observations to actually explain what seems to be happening and why the shockwave exists. Except that in this case, this specific dead star seems to lack one thing we know produces these shockwaves in almost every case. Which is why this particular system seems to be really bizarre. And so in this video, we're going to explore what these systems usually look like and what we actually expect to find in them. And of course, discuss what exactly makes this discovery so mysterious. Basically, here we're going to explore exactly what this mystery engine is that seems to be responsible for this very strange formation. But to start, we need to establish the basics. Let's, I guess, start with what type of a star this is and why this is already quite different from a lot of other star systems. So first, this is actually a white dwarf. And that's, of course, what our sun is going to become one day as well. So basically some of the smaller stars do not produce supernova, but instead first produce very powerful winds, releasing the outer shell into outer space, and then leave behind a core that eventually becomes a white dwarf. And it's actually going to remain as a white dwarf for an extremely long time, until it cools down enough and becomes a black dwarf. None of this is happening anytime soon. And so here we essentially have a stellar object that's about the same size as planet Earth, but has a mass of an actual star which produces this very dense object that can then start producing extremely unusual effects. But because these objects no longer have any fusion, they are technically considered to be stellar remnants or dead stars. And more importantly, they no longer produce any stellar winds and very rarely have any interactions with anything around them, unless they have a partner. And while in many cases, many white dwarfs, including this one, are actually a part of a binary system. And in this case, this particular object seems to have a low mass partner, very similar to a typical red dwarf. But because the white dwarf has a lot more gravity and is also a lot more dense, in some conditions, especially if the partner is really close, it basically starts to slurp the material away from its companion. And so in many cases we have these what are known as cataclysmic variables. Basically objects that very often produce explosions such as nova, not supernova, where as the matter accumulates on the surface, it eventually explodes, producing quite powerful nuclear explosions that in many cases start to happen quite regularly. And so basically here all of this gas, instead of entering the star, swirls around it, forming an accretion disk, and once in a while detonates, producing a powerful explosion. And while in most of these known systems, the energy from this disk ends up creating extremely powerful winds, even more powerful than stellar winds, that basically blow into outer space and end up producing this gorgeous shockwave. And so in this case, this is produced as the interaction between winds, and here we're talking about the accretion disk winds, and the interstellar gas, also known as the interstellar medium, that surrounds this particular star system. And actually in some cases, the stellar medium and the interstellar gas came from that star itself before it became a white dwarf. And in the past, quite a few such objects have been discovered and they all formed this beautiful shockwave. But this newly discovered object is just a little bit strange. So essentially here, let's discuss this new discovery from 2026. And so in this case, by using the European Southern Observatory's Very Large Telescope, or VLT, and specifically the instrument referred to as MUSE, scientists were able to create this beautiful image of this new object approximately 730 light years away from us. And here they discovered this beautiful curved arc 
that's definitely a telltale sign that this is a bull shock. And so here this difference way tells us that this particular star system seems to have extremely powerful stellar winds and seems to push on the interstellar gas as it travels across this region. But the thing is, additional observations also reveal that this is not just any kind of a white dwarf and instead this is referred to as a polar variable, or basically an extremely magnetized white dwarf whose magnetic field is so ridiculously powerful that it usually completely disrupts the accretion disk and prevents it from forming even though it still accretes a lot of matter. And so basically here this white dwarf, because of its incredibly strong magnetic field of approximately 42 to 45 million gauss, technically should not have an accretion disk. And by the way, just to give you a perspective here, this is approximately several million times stronger in terms of magnetic field compared to planet Earth. And so this field is so ridiculously powerful that it instantly captures all of the gas that falls into it and then channels it into two specific locations in the north and in the south, essentially forming two hotspots on this white dwarf. And in every single polar we've seen so far, there is never any accretion disk. As a matter of fact, the magnetic field always prevents it from forming. And well, you might see the problem here already. Since there should not be an accretion disk, there should not be any powerful disk winds. And without those winds, there should not be a shock wave. And that's essentially why this object is so incredible for astronomers. This supposedly quiet polar system seems to still somehow produce this very spectacular nebula. And that's the essence of this new study from 2026. Here researchers tried to analyze the system in more detail and basically figure out how this is even possible. And first, by analyzing the light, they discovered that the nebula is made out of hydrogen, nitrogen and oxygen. And that's of course what produces this beautiful light, making this object resemble a kind of a rainbow. But what's even more impressive in this case is the size of this rainbow. Here the front of the shock wave, or the apex, is thousands of astronomical units away from the star. As a matter of fact, the hydrogen glow is about 3800 AU away, which makes this an incredibly large shock wave. And based on the size of the shock wave, researchers can also estimate that it's actually been doing this, or blowing all of this gas, for at least 1000 years. And so this is unlikely to be a remnant from some kind of an explosion like a nova, and seems to be formed in a very bizarre way. And one of the major mysteries here is actually in regards to the energy required to even produce this. In order to keep the shockwave glowing for thousands of years, it requires 8.2 times 10 to the power of 32 Earth per second. Or in more layman terms, it requires at least 3 times more energy than this particular star seems to produce from the process of accretion. So basically here this is kind of like finding a car that's driving 100 miles per hour, but the engine is only able to produce 30 miles per hour. So it seems to have some kind of a hidden source of energy, which is why here they call it a mystery engine. And that's really one of the main mysteries in this study. They have no idea what's causing this. Now in this study scientists suspect that the energy may be coming directly from the magnetic field. So basically maybe this shockwave and everything around the star is really because of this super powerful magnetism. Or perhaps this is from the way two stars interact as they orbit around each other every 80 minutes. So one possibility in this case is because of this relatively fast orbit, the magnetic field reconfigures itself every 80 minutes, releasing enormous bursts of energy that then push a lot of material into outer space even though there is no disk around the system. And so maybe it's really the result of some kind of an orbital configuration that seems to constantly reshape the magnetic lines, producing some of the largest magnetic explosions we've ever seen anywhere. Now if that's the case, we should also be seeing some kind of a radio emission from here, but that has not been found yet. And well, that's of course why this particular system is so important for astronomy. Right now this is a direct challenge to a lot of standard models, and especially models when it comes to white wars, magnetic field interactions, and various types of shock waves. Because here we definitely have this highly magnetized system that's not supposed to contain a disk, yet it seems to produce exactly the same effects that we usually expect from an accretion disk around a white dwarf. And so this is a definitive sign and evidence that astronomers seem to have overlooked some kind of a source of energy in these somewhat strange systems. As a matter of fact, some of the recent studies of other very similar systems, specifically systems like this, AR Scorpii, and the system AM Hercules, have also showed us very similar energy losses that we cannot explain yet. And so maybe just maybe these binary systems produce additional effects based on magnetic interactions that nobody has ever considered. And you can actually learn about this system, which is also super bizarre, in one of the previous videos in the description. But luckily in the coming years or even in the coming months, 
astronomers might find additional disk with shock waves, and especially because of telescopes like the Extremely Large Telescope that's going to become operational in the next couple of years. And so here, by mapping the additional systems and by finding more of these shock waves, researchers might be able to figure out exactly how this forms and what seems to drive this extremely powerful emission. At the moment though, based on this study and all of the observations from the system, it still seems to produce way more energy than it should. And the shockwave should not be possible. But once astronomers figure out exactly what's happening here, and once we have some additional observations, we'll definitely come back and discuss all of this in some of the future videos. Until then, check out previous videos in the description. Thank you for watching, subscribe, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon where you can find additional videos, videos without any ads and can DM it directly, or by joining channel membership that grants you early access. You can also support this channel by buying the wonderful person t-shirt in the description below. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye-bye.